Extreme 3D Watering Can and Flower Bed Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an extreme 3D watering can that's over a little bed of daisies. And the daisies themselves, the flowers, are very, very simplistic. They're very just kind of cutesy and easy. And then the whole watering can is just a nail that is just kind of... I don't know, fun and spring, and we're finally where I live getting a little hint of spring. It was a weird winter, we'd have, or a weird spring, I guess, but we'd have a day that was 60 degrees followed by a day that it snowed, and it went back and forth like that for weeks. It was just crazy we have bipolar weather. So I'm happy we finally have just this little, little smidge of warmth. I've been freezing all winter, so it's like finally and a little watering can seems like the perfect way to celebrate that so i hope you guys like this as much as i do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well so to start with i'm going to begin with an overlay of a grass green or a leaf green acrylic on the nail tip this is a very short little nail um i guess not very short uh, my own natural nails are significantly shorter but it's not very long it's just a cute little nail and then encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic a lot of these crazy 3d nails are uh, the pouring style nails that I've been doing recently have been on like a stiletto or a long almond shape so this one is just on a little round nail so it's kind of a different that's just kind of different and like I said I wanted to keep it really kind of cutesy and so then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape I started out with a pretty coarse bit to remove any bulk and then a much finer bit just to refine the surface texture and then taking a really narrow bit you're going to want to create a hole past where the nail bed is but uh, right kind of as close to the middle as you can get it and then with uh, some silver acrylic around a straw you're going to need to be sculpting out your watering can the the base of it so just create a nice little band going around the straw while that is setting you can go ahead and make the other parts of the can that you need so you're going to need to make the handle the spout and then the little sprinkler head so the first thing i did is i made the spout so just kind of play around your through uh, with your silver acrylic you want it to have a nice angle on it for where it attaches to the can but then it kind of needs to taper these are just the beginning parts of it. For this, uh, the sprinkler head, you just need a circle and then create a little C-shape for the handle. On your sprinkler head, once the acrylic starts to set, which as you can see I tried and then it just morphed right back together, you need to poke five holes in it. So a one in the center and then four that go around it. These holes are very important because they're what attaches your wire to the nail and it's kind of the key to keeping this whole thing together. After you have your little silver, your little silver cylinder off the straw, then you're just going to file the ends of it so they're nice and straight and then glue your spout and your handle to the to the can you can file the edge of the spout that glues onto the can to make sure it's at the right angle if it was a little bit a little wonky and then taking some nail glue which i know i'm a little bit off camera but just glue that on to the can just hold it in place it shouldn't take too long i like to, i love using tweezers to pick things up my own hands just don't grab these little things they try and i usually end up just getting mad so if you have tweezers on hand i would highly recommend they're one of my favorite nail art tools because i find them just so incredibly helpful but glue your spout on one side and your handle on the other and then glue a piece of wire coming off the spout so on the back side of the spout the flat side just glue on the piece of wire then secure your all your stuff because those pieces are so thin and so delicate. You need a lot more silver acrylic. So just add another layer of silver acrylic to the front and the back of the spout and the handle and kind of blend them into the can so they're not so, like the edges don't look so awkward. Just kind of smooth it out, make it look like it is actually a piece. And then before the acrylic sets on the, on the spout, take your little sprinkler head and string that down the wire through the center hole and then secure your spout or your sprinkler head and your spout together with some more silver acrylic. Being careful not to plug the little holes that you made in the sprinkler head because those are very important in making sure that your wire will attach to your sprinkler. And like I said, I'm going to be adding a second coat or a second layer to the front and the back side of the handle as well. This is like so important for making sure it's not just going to break. Then add a, make a circle of acrylic, silver acrylic on a nail form backing and set your sprinkler or your, your can to add the bottom to it. And then do a half circle for the top of the can so that when you're pouring the water, it doesn't just fall at the top of the can, so they have like that little little guard on them. So make that with a little half circle of silver. And then bend your wire so that it has a curve on it. You don't want just it to be straight. So bend the wire so it's got a nice curve. Then cut it off so it's the right length. And then put a little bit of glue on the end and stick that into the hole that's on the nail just to secure it. And then to actually make it so it's going to set and it's not going to just pop out because nail glue is unreliable. Cover the very bottom of your wire, the little base, with some white acrylic, and this will be your first flower. So these flowers are very simple. They're very, um, 
they're very basic they start out with just a circle and then you kind of gently coax the petals out of them if you want to go more detailed and make individual flowers or you can do roses or there's so many options you could do not daisies if you like daisies or whatever your favorite flower is I just wanted to keep them cute and cute and simple so that's kind of what I did with this and like pinwheels shaped flowers kind of like daisies um they're not they're basically daisies but they're just they're simple and easy and just kind of the style I was going for if you want something that's more detailed then I have a video that's a very similar nail with a, a hummingbird instead of a watering can but then it does go into a a detailed rose and I will put a link to that in the description box below if you are feeling like you want something with a little bit more a little more detail on it uh, that will show you how I did that one but otherwise, I like these. I think that they're exactly what this nail needed. And it has so much texture to it because it's got so much, so many bumps and so much, just so much to it that I really actually like the way that this turned out. And completely fill in your nail with flowers. That's kind of what I think is important for this watering can because the little drips of water kind of spread out as it goes towards the nail. There will be more pieces of wire and more streams of water. So if you don't, if you just have one flower, it's not going to look quite right because it'll just be going all over the place. So you want to kind of have more flowers so that your water can go more places. And then add a little bit of yellow acrylic to the center of each flower. It doesn't take a lot. You just have to add a tiny, a tiny bead of yellow. Um, same thing though, you can switch up your flowers and do these however you like, but I kind of liked all the different layers of texture. So that's what I went with. And I'm very very simple color scheme just just your plain flowers I didn't do anything crazy and so then add add those and then after you have that take a finer wire so a higher gauge and just cut off your pieces so that they're long enough that they're longer than they have to be to go from the sprinkler head to the nail and then glue them into those four remaining holes in the sprinkler head so just grab one and hold it in place while it's gluing at uh, kind of a tedious process but the glue is a temporary hold. Like I said, I find glue to be unreliable. I will be securing them with silver acrylic, but they do have to be held in place long enough for the silver acrylic to set. So that's kind of what the glue is for. So just get them in there, hold them until they until they start to stick. May take a second. Uh, eventually it will get there though, I promise. But get them in there. After you have that done, uh, here's the last one. Like I said, I secured them in place with silver acrylic. So just take some wet silver acrylic so it kind of just flows around the ends of the the edges of the wire and just go over all the all those junctures between the wire and the sprinkler head to hold them in place and that's pretty much all you need to do I also added a little bit more silver acrylic to the back side of the sprinkler head just because I thought it needed it and then I'm going to be cutting all my wires to the right length so kind of figure out where you want them to set and gently bend them into the right shape so they have a nice curve on them just like the first piece of wire did and then trim them off I am just using a little manicure scissors like the second kind of wire I'm using here is so fine that it really doesn't take much to cut it it's like hair and then after you have them trimmed to the right length go ahead and glue them into place here I didn't really worry about considering the glue to be unreliable I they kind of just sort of stuck into the in between the petals and different things so they were pretty well attached at the bottom if you want them to go through and if you wanted to you could just put a little drip of either the the green white or yellow acrylic over the edges of the wire on the bottom to hold them in place or clear that would work too I thought they were I thought they were fine so I didn't bother doing that and then with the black paint I'm going to be adding just a couple stripes around my watering can I thought my watering can was a little bit plain I kind of same thing though I wanted to keep it pretty plain so I just added two stripes going around it with black just to kind of make it look like it has that texture some of them have like a riveted a riveted appearance on them so that's kind of what I was going for um, I do though personally I have some gorgeous watering cans that uh, my grandmother or great-grandmother has painted if you wanted to you could really make your watering can detailed and go all out there's some pretty crazy ones uh, the one that I currently have in my house is a flamingo shape so <laughs> options are pretty limitless here I went classic after you have that I also added some black dots on the sprinkler head to make it look like it does have the holes and then add a little white highlights on your flowers just to brighten them up the green kind of shows through my white acrylic so I wanted to make sure that you could really get the nice bright white flowers so I added a little a little stripe of white on each petal it doesn't take much to do and I really think that it makes them look a lot more dimensional and show up from the background and just kind of brightens things which since, I, like I said, we finally have no snow left, uh, brightening things up is always a good thing. And then I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer over the nail and over the watering can and curing that. When you're curing it, kind of tip the nail back and forth from side to side to make sure that every area that has gel sealer on it is getting hit by the light and is curing. 
and then take some blue one-step gel polish. A nice shimmery blue is a great one to use and add drops of it on the pieces of wire. So as you can see, I'm just having it on a little brush and I'm basically just dabbing it onto each piece of wire. That's going to create the little water drops to make it look like it's got little drips of water coming out instead of a full stream. And then after you have that, like I said, a one-step gel polish is key here because you don't want to have to apply top coat. Cure that, and then that is all done. You have your little sprinkling water over the nail. The silver wire basically disappears, and you just get those little drops of the shimmery blue. It looks... I love the way those little water droplets turned out. I think this nail is just adorable. I hope you guys like it as much as I do, and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!